Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Uh, so we have just hit rainy season here in Miami so today is super gloomy and dreary and rainy and wet and pouring. I decided I'm gonna be sunny and bright in my attire today to counterbalance how crap it is outside. So I'm really excited about that for some reason. <laughs> In today's video, I have the review for my one of my newest purchases, and that is the Louis Vuitton Jean Wallet, right here. I have it in the monogram with the fuchsia, uh, with the fuchsia details and trim, and I'm going to be talking all about it and give you a couple of my thoughts. Um, now, in the grand scheme of things, I have I've been using this wallet for six weeks straight, uh, maybe a little more than that, uh, ever since I got back from London, and I really just have fallen head over heels in love with it. So I'm going to give you a few of my thoughts and a couple pros and cons as well as um, just some specs and what it fits. On. By the way, if you are new to my channel, hello and welcome. My name is Catherine and my channel is KW Shops. I do videos all about luxury goods and how to save money on them. Uh, my goal is to help you uh, save on your splurges. Uh, recently I realized that a lot of the time with the handbags and the, with the designer items that I buy, uh, I end up shopping for free. So uh, hopefully my videos can help show you how to do that. If that interests you, then I'd love to have you back. So please hit the subscribe button down below and as well as the bell icon next to it so you can be notified every time that I upload, which is once a week. Okay, so this here is the Louis Vuitton Jean Wallet. Uh, it's either pronounced Jean or Jean or uh, something to that effect. And uh, I purchased this about um, close to, but not quite two months ago in the London Heathrow Airport. Uh, currently it retails at $575 here in the US. So this is the monogram with the fuchsia trim, fuchsia interior. So it also comes in rose ballerine. So the it's the light pink interior and the card slot as well as the zip pouch, all of the inserts that I'll be showing you later are blue and orange, I believe. So I'll hopefully insert a picture of that, but if not, then I'll leave a link to it. Uh, so this wallet retails for $575 here in the US. I purchased mine in London Heathrow Airport. Uh, so it was already cheaper being that I bought it in Europe in pounds, and then on top of that, um, the VAT tax was excluded from my price because I shopped in Heathrow. However, um, if you do uh, the only way that I know of saving on new Louis Vuitton items, since they don't have sales, is by using Ebates. Um, you can get 4 or 8% a lot of the time cash back um, in store at Saks Fifth Avenue. Uh, if you have a Louis Vuitton boutique inside of a Saks, then you can get 4% back. Other than flying all the way to London Heathrow, that's the best way to save. So, quick tip. Okay, so this wallet is made from monogram canvas, as you can see here. It has a gold button clasp. Um, right there. It opens just up here just like an envelope, the gold metal snap button, and I have the fuchsia textured leather interior. I hope you can't see any of my cards. Um, but yes, so there's a monogram canvas here. This is the removable card slot that it comes with um, as well, and this is the inside. Um, so this is what the set looks like. Um, I absolutely love it. It's super versatile, but I'm gonna put these. I'm gonna put these aside for the moment and just talk about the actual uh, wallet itself. This wallet opens up to six interior card slots. I do have a little bit of cash in it. My cash lays flat. Uh, it lays flat inside of here perfectly. The only thing to the interior are the six card slots and the open compartment. Um, the back has a pocket right here. Um, I will have the exact uh, dimensions of this wallet listed. Uh, hopefully right here, but it'll also be listed down below in the description box. Um, what I like to do is, uh, for reference, I have an iPhone 6S that fits in here um, absolutely perfectly, as you can see. Um, most of the time when I have my phone inside of this wallet, uh, the zip pouch will go in the back pocket just like this. So this is what it looks like when it closes and you have the uh, zip, po zip pouch in the pocket. I think there's a little bit more space where you could fit a larger iPhone. Uh, I have the 6S in the regular size. If you do have a Plus, 
it is my opinion that it would fit. So if you guys have been with my channel for a while, then uh, you will know that in many, many, many videos, I have said that the only wallet I would ever need in my life was this one right here. Uh, this is the Louis Vuitton Robot Clay. Uh, these are very, very hard to find, I think, and um, I found one. I've had this for about three years now. Uh, this is a piece from 2006, and it originally came with a with a keychain. Um, so it just opens up like this, and it is a perfect little compact wallet that I have used to death for the last three years. And um, two things spawned my uh, need for a new wallet. The first was that uh, this piece does have some wear to the canvas, and it definitely is going to need some repairs very soon. Um, I felt like I was wearing it out, and I wanted to be able to switch back into it. I don't want to completely trash this thing because they are so hard to get. Another thing is that for Valentine's Day uh, this year, I received this gorgeous little bag. Um, and I was having trouble fitting this as well as my phone inside of this bag. Um, so this is the Gucci 1973 Python, um, just like, just like a little crossbody evening bag. Um, so this is what it looks like on the inside. There's a little place to put cards here, but the interior of this bag is very small and fitting this into here was sort of a struggle as well as putting my phone on the inside as well. So I started the process of searching for a small card holder. Um, a really popular one that I've heard a ton of great things about is the is the YSL uh, Pudra leather version of the card holder. And I had my heart set on getting that one just like in black and silver. I decided against that one and started looking at a couple of options from Vuitton. Uh, so I was looking at the just regular Louis Vuitton card case. That one retails at about 200, maybe 205. Um, I will also leave a link to that one down below, but then I started looking at some of the other wallets that Louis Vuitton had available, and I immediately fell in love with the Jean. So in my search for a card holder, I came across the Jean wallet with these two inserts. First is the card holder, which is my main draw to the Jean wallet, and the second was the zip pouch. This is the card holder. Um, I will have the measurements hopefully listed below me right now. Um, it has a card slot here as well as one in the middle. What it does not have, however, that I'm used to card slots having is an extra slot on the back. That is one thing that I th did think was a little bit odd about this card holder, but it does make for it being very, very, very narrow, as you can see. Um, so it's made from the textured fuchsia leather with gold writing that says Louis Vuitton Paris right here. Um, I do have about, um, I carry, I use this to carry four cards and this is how wide that the card holder comes to with four cards inside. So next is the uh, fuchsia leather zip pouch and this also uh, matches the, um, the card holder textured fuchsia leather with gold writing that says Louis Vuitton Paris. There's a pocket right here in front that dips down. And of course, the zipper with the leather tie. Um, so the zipper is very, very smooth and nice as you're used to with Louis Vuitton, um, Louis Vuitton pieces. And currently I have it just stuffed with a couple receipts and some business cards. So unfortunately the zip pouch doesn't hold cash. As you can see, it is exactly the length of bills. So that means that with the zipper being shorter, with the zipper and opening being slightly shorter than the entire length of this piece that the uh, cash doesn't fit in here, you have to fold it. And in order to, I mean, if you wanted to, you could fold it, but I have about, I think five or six dollar bills right here. And they do fit in pretty well, as you can see. But if I, first of all, I rarely carry cash, but if I do carry cash, I want to have it organized a bit better than this. And I think that the interior capacity of the wallet itself is a much better place to hold cash. But that's just my opinion and how I feel. Um, if you needed to separate cash, if you carry around a lot of receipts or business cards, then I think this would be perfect. You may remember about a year and a half ago, I purchased the Victorine wallet in the same uh, color scheme. Uh, I was in the market for a compact wallet. 
and the, so the Victorine wallet is about half the size of this here. Um, it comes to a complete square, folds and opens up wide. Um, what I didn't like about the Victorine was that it was very wide and chunky through here and what I much prefer about this wallet is that even though it is definitely a long wallet, it has a lot, a lot of storage capacity, um, but it is very thin and flat. Um, I love carrying this inside of some of my larger bags because it's really easy to just grab and find and I know where everything is inside of it. As in some of my bigger bags, especially the Estrella that I have, uh, that I um, uh, revealed to you in my last video, it's a little bit of a black hole inside of it and uh, to be able to find my wallet because it's this big and this easy to see, uh, I think is great for that bag. But a lot of the time when I do go into a mini bag, I think it's great that I can just take out very easily and um, very easily and quickly take out this little card holder and put this inside of uh, the mini Gucci I showed you earlier. It also looks great inside of my Tom Ford. Um, so this is my Tom Ford. I currently have this uh, Fendi scarf tied onto it. I think that's super cute. But um, the Tom Ford has this little front pocket here as well as a you know area to put a card holder and it fits in here. It fits inside of this little flat pocket that I've never been able to use actually just perfectly and it lines up perfectly with the inside of that. So if any of you guys have this bag, which I know not a ton of people do, and I think that's a shame because I love this bag, but uh, yeah, if you do happen to have this bag, then it does fit inside of this little black pocket really easily. Yeah. So another thing I love about this wallet is that it has a pocket here in the back. Um, if you do, or if you are, ugh, if you are quickly running uh, out of a store with your receipt and everything, you can quickly fold it and put it inside of here. Uh, I don't know if you'll be able to see this, but this is what the interior of the uh, back pocket looks like. It does not have the fuchsia lining. It's more of a brown, uh, it feels like some sort of man-made material and I can't tell what it is. Um, but just want to show you that and the seams do cut, um, they do cut the canvas there. So uh, now I'm going to get into some of the pros and cons on this, on this gorgeous wallet. Um, I really, really love this and there are going to be a lot more pros to it than cons. So I'm going to start with the cons first and then build up to everything I love about this. Uh, so the first con that some people may take issue with on this wallet is that um, maybe it's just me being picky and me being annoying, but I really do wish that the card holder inside of here was canvas. And I ha it's only for aesthetic purposes. Um, perhaps the canvas might have been thicker or something like that. But I do think that it would have um, that I do think that it would have looked nice inside of this wallet for there to be a little pop of Louis Vuitton canvas here at the top. Uh, I just think that would have been pretty, and it would have you know um, looked great inside of other bags. Uh, that's really just me being annoying, obviously. But I do wish that there was something a little bit more. Uh, a little bit more zazz to the card holder itself. So the next con for this wallet for me is that um, this zip pouch, um, I don't have a ton of uses for if I'm being honest. So I definitely bought this wallet because it came with the card holder and I don't really have much of a use for the zip pouch. Like I said, I do have a couple of like business cards and receipts inside of here, but the fact that the wallet has the back pocket means that anything that I would put in here, I also could get away with putting inside of here. Um, and yeah, there's this pocket on the outside, and just for my lifestyle and my needs, I just don't really feel like this is something that I really have much use for. So I am thinking about selling it. I'm going to try and like find something to do with it before I do, but if I do decide to sell it, I will definitely let you guys know. Um, I do think it's great that it has the outside pocket because you guys know, know me in pockets, uh, and the zipper on it is really nice. I just wish that maybe it were, the opening would be a little bit wider so that you could actually put your cash inside of here. I think that would be a great use for it. Uh, the next con on this wallet is once you take the uh, two inserts the card holder and the zip pouch away uh the rest of it is pretty uh pretty simple pretty straightforward but there's only six card slots i feel like inside of this wallet they could have done another bank of card slots on the uh on the you know outside pocket or you know just done something else get gave it another like little slip area for organization um but other than that i think this wallet it's great, so now I'm going to get into the pros. 
Um, okay, so the first thing I really love about this wallet is that in contrast to a lot of other wallets that the, that Louis Vuitton is designing at the moment, the button clasp on, on here is the gold metal. Um, yes, it does have a few scratches on it that I don't really care about or notice. Things like this get scratched and I do use it every single day, so that doesn't bother me. However, with a lot of the other wallets that they are designing at the moment, they are putting leather tabs to match the interior lining. Um, my Victorine, for example, had one in fuchsia leather. Um, now, I didn't have any wear or issues with my Victorine wallet, luckily, um, before I sold it. But I have seen other people have issues with, like, you know, it chipping or getting dirty or, or things like that on the front of the wallet and I just am really glad that they that um, they replaced the leather tab with this gold. I also think it makes less of a statement and although I do love the pop of fuchsia with the monogram, I don't think I would like this wallet as much if it did have that giant fuchsia dot on the front of it because I actually hate pink. <laughs> The next pro that I absolutely love about this wallet is that it does, does have this super useful back pocket. Um, uh, in this back pocket, I can fit my phone. Uh, it goes in here. It's a little bit snug because of the case that I have, but it does fit in here just fine. This is where I would put receipts or business cards if I were using it and didn't have the little zip pouch. Uh, I also just love anything with outside pockets. That's just one of, one of my things. One of my weird things about bags is that I love anything with an outside pocket of some sort and I love that this one is big and useful and spacious and takes up the entire length of the piece. Uh, next is that it I can fit my phone in here in multiple places. Um, I just showed you how it goes in, into the back pocket and uh, on the inside I can fit um, you know a couple of bills of cash, the zip uh, the zip pouch as well as my phone and it closes with no issue whatsoever. So I love that th this can make me hands-free. I can have my wallet and phone in one hand right here just like this and it's completely safe and protected. Uh, so next on my list of pros is that this card holder is the tiniest smallest card holder I, I have ever seen in my life. Um, honestly this card holder has me giving every wallet on chain in my collection a run for its money because it is just so easy for me to get into even the smallest of bags and it takes up literally no space. This is almost, this is the, the, the width of maybe like three business cards uh, as you can see and it just goes from inside of any of the smallest bags I've ever ever used or would ever use very easily, very simply, and then it, it folds right back into here when I need a little bit more. The next, thing I, the next thing I absolutely love about this wallet is that it is really thin. So while this is not necessarily a compact wallet, um, I did buy a compact wallet not too long ago, I mean maybe a, a year or so ago in the Victorine that I mentioned earlier, and it was much chunkier and was uh, took up, I feel like it took up a lot more space inside of the inside of my bags. I'm not someone who carries cash often, although the cash does fit in here really nicely, uh, laid flat like I prefer if I am ever carrying it, but uh, the width on this wallet is great and it doesn't get much wider than this even when you do stuff it full of, you know, whatever. Um, it measures, I would guess this is about an inch or so wide, maybe a little bit more, and I think it's just perfect. Um, it's great. Uh, it's really easy to find this inside of any of my big massive bags, but if I'm using one that doesn't have as much space, then it uh, it will fit in here really. It will fit inside of um, inside of any other bag really nicely. Okay. And now the best part about this wallet is the price point. So Louis Vuitton is definitely uh, trying to raise its price and raise its stature, I guess, among the uh, you know fashion giants. And while that's really annoying to me now that I'm finally starting to to shop in the store, what I love about this wallet is that it's still a you know otherwise reasonable price as compared to all of the more expensive wallets. Um, available currently. Uh, so they definitely are trying to incorporate more leather pieces and I am really not loving uh, what Louis Vuitton has to offer at the moment. Uh, it just really isn't for me, it's just really not my style. Uh, and it's also more expensive than, you know, it was a year ago. Most of the wallets, since, since they do have more leather, are higher in price, between seven and eight hundred dollars. Um, they're really trying to push leather more so than the signature monogram canvas that I love. And, um, you know, almost doubling the price of some of the wallets. So, 
Uh, this one retails in the, in the U.S. at $575. Um, I, as I mentioned, I got it a little bit cheaper than that because I bought it in London Heathrow, but I think that $575 is sort of like the tipping point in what I would, I personally would want to pay for a wallet. Um, once you start getting into like seven and eight and nine hundred dollars, I would rather put that towards a handbag rather than an SLG like a wallet. I definitely do appreciate the price point on this and then also when you factor in that this is not only cheaper than a lot of the other wallets available currently it also comes with the card holder and it also comes with the zip pouch uh, so this alone in Louis Vuitton if you were to get the just re regular canvas one that they that they make uh, is about $205 on its own and I almost bought I was an inch away from buying one of those to fit inside of that bag until I saw this at you know maybe a little bit more than double the price but you get you know a lot more for your money I think than any other wallet at Louis Vuitton so while I will always love my Reebok clay I, I do feel like I found something incredible in the G, in the jean wallet um, I think this is just I really feel like now I have a grown-up wallet and it also the fact that it comes with all the card slots really um, makes it the most versatile piece I think I have in my collection, honestly. Another thing is that I haven't been able to find this inside of the stores here in the US. Uh, no store that I've gone to here in Miami has had this in stock. I felt really lucky that I found it inside of Heathrow at that point because I really was ready to buy it for full US retail plus tax uh, online and I never, never do that. So this last I checked was available for purchase online, but I will leave a link, and I will leave a link to it down below, but make sure you guys check out Ebates to, just in case that they do have it in, in a Saks near you so you can save at least 4%. That's all I have for you guys today. I hope you guys uh, enjoyed the info on this wallet as much as I'm enjoying using it, and uh, yeah, I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.